welcome to Good Things. It is the season three premiere Yay. of Good Things. Hey, oh ladies. We hey, made girl. it. Hey, we did it. <laughs> well, I, I mean, it was like right down to the wire today, too. <laughs> 10 58. When is it? When is, when is it not? Right? That's what makes it special and That's fun. Right. Of course. Well, thank you all for joining us. We are so happy to be here for our third season. Uh, new time. We are here a little bit earlier, so we hope you all got the memo. We have been putting that out there for a couple of weeks now, and uh, we hope everyone got a little bit of uh, a taste of what is to come. Um, I am in love with our new love opening. The new yes. Intro. yes, yes, yes. Very us. Yes. Yes. Captures it's, me being the epitome <laughs> of extra. <laughs> this one here. A day in the life of good things right, and yes. uh, how we get it started really every day, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I can't really say. getting cute. Yes. That don't happen overnight. No. It takes a while. A, a little bit. We got up real <laughs> early today. Real yeah, early today. <laughs> But we thank you all so much. I want to shout out to uh, Genesis Jefferson, who was the videographer, editor. Amazing. <laughs> we love you, Jen. She put it all together. Um, she did all of the directing, and uh, we just love her for all and of it. And we are that. hard to direct. We are. We, yeah. We, we, we don't she follow direction. with a lot. Yeah. A, yeah. Yeah, a whole lot We're all the time. All, one of us is always <laughs> off oh, girl. doing something. <laughs> and we also want to thank... Tanar Dozier, um, he laid the track for us, and he has basically given us our own Good Things track, which will be available in full length um, probably very soon, and you can purchase it on iTunes, yep. and uh, he's an amazing producer right here in uh, the DMV. He's right out of Alexandria, Virginia, and uh, you need to check him out. He's got a iTunes uh, page, and he's got some amazing tracks, and if you're looking for an amazing track, check him out. Um, he's an amazing guy to work with and extremely talented. So. Thank you, Tanar. Thank you. <laughs> but we have so much to do today, right? Do we? We do. Okay. I, I thought we were just going to sit here and well, smile. <laughs> you know, I think we thought we were going to have a break. It seemed like we were going to have a break. Everybody was like, y'all didn't take a break. Right. From season two to season three. We, yeah. it, in, in our minds, like just looking at the timeline, it felt like there was going to be some time in yeah. between. But yeah. everything that we've been doing from then to now, like it just closed it the hasn't gap of been. time. There was no break. Yeah. yeah, that little three and a half weeks. Nothing. Three and a half weeks. <laughs> it's March, y'all. It is March. Yes, March 4th. Oh, my gosh. And it's so pretty outside today. I was just loving driving yes. here yeah. because it was so nice It out. helped. Mm -hmm. It helped definitely to have the sun being up mm -hmm. early, out early. Um, we had a busy weekend. My husband literally just, like, got back into town at 6 a.m. like this morning. Vegas, Vegas. Vegas, Vegas. He was out celebrating with one of his dear uh, childhood friends. Um, they had a fun 40th. I told him, don't break anything. They went uh, <laughs> They went uh, dune oh, buggying <laughs> yesterday. Isn't it sad, though, that we have to put that caveat we when there's do. a guy's weekend? Please don't break anything. <laughs> I mean, every time Jay yeah. comes back from something, he comes back something with... Something happens. Yeah. yeah. Chip yeah. tooth. Having yeah. a husband is like having a child yeah yeah well and mainly because i was like i have to be at the studio so i don't have time to take care of you and so <laughs> i can take care of you after the show is over Correct. but i don't care I'll, about you i'll send but, uber for yes. you <laughs> and you have to, and he's taking our little guy to a birthday party this morning so i'm like you need to be able to bounce in the bounce house for at least two hours oh, with him that yeah. sounds awful yeah. after vegas <laughs> yeah it does especially after a red eye right yeah. So yeah, poor Dr. Sill. It's all right. He'll be okay and we'll 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 give him a little TLC later. But I just wanna also while we're talking about him, I also wanna shout out to Brian and to Jay. Um hey, they booze, have, hey. <laughs> hubby one, hubby two. And three. And, and three. They have been um such amazing supports of us and uh, never getting to see us. Yeah, I know. It's very thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we, we're away doing the show, but also when we're home, like they, they watch the show yes. and they will give us critiques. Like they're like true husbanders. They are. Yes. No, they are. Yep. And they, they come up with all kinds of things for us. They help us with our topics. Um, and they so tell us like, don't do that again. Y'all were not cute. Yeah. Yeah. So they keep it real. Oh man. <laughs> do they ever, your hair looked awful. Babe. <laughs> Thank Could you. Could you fix that piece? It was in front of your face the whole time. Yeah, so. never wear that outfit again. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They, they don't hold back at all. But we have a lot to share with you. Um, I want to remind everybody and let you all know this is another exciting thing that we have, have um, is goodthingsdc.com is relaunched Yay! and live. 
So starting today, check it out. There's a preview of the site up right now, and there's a lot more to come in the next week. But that is going to be your landing spot for mm -hmm. all things good things. And then, of course, you can find us on our social media pages yeah yes. and please do not forget to subscribe when you go please. to the new website yes put in your email address that way you can get all the updates all the appearances where we're going to be at in the dmv yep. what we're doing yep. yes and we can tell you about what's going to be coming up yeah. exactly That's important too mm -hmm. right yeah yeah so Stay lots in the there. know yeah yeah also our instagram we yes. changed our instagram handle so it's now good things dc show yes the little at symbol good things dc show yes it's and fabulous then, but you can still find us on facebook at good things dc as mm -hmm. well as on Twitter at Good Things, Good Things DC. DC. But we wanted to make sure that you guys got a little taste. And if you look on our website, um, we also have our Instagram feed there. So you can also keep up with our Instagram at goodthingsdc.com. Yes. Um, and so we have also coming up this season, we are also going to be introducing, and you all have met her just a little bit uh, back during the holidays. Uh -oh. <laughs> yes, but we're going to introduce her formally next week as our formal new Good Things Global Correspondent. Miss Kelly McCurdy, and we are going to have so Get much ready fun. World. Oh my god! Yes, we cannot wait. Kelly is hilarious. <laughs> Get ready. Don't drink water. Don't have anything in your mouth liquid because you just spill it ever. She's so, so funny. Yes, she yes. And you can so never funny. predict like what she's no, going to no. say. She's kind of like Leia in that yeah. way. Yeah. Very yeah. We're a bad combination together. They're so much fun. <laughs> they are. Best combination. I yeah. love them together. Yeah. So we're going to be, we're going to satellite her. Um, I really don't know where she's going to be because I can't keep up with her. Um, and so I, right now I say her home base is in three spots. She's got New Orleans, Chicago, and Maryland, um, mm -hmm. a little bit of the STL as well. And from time to time, she might just show up in Rio. So I oh really gosh. don't know where she's going to be from time to time, but we're going to keep up with her, and so are you. Keeping up with Kelly. I like Keeping it. up with Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> that actually might be her new handle. That's right. But we have so much more in store for you. Come right back. We're going to take a small break, and we're going to jump right mm -hmm. in. It's Good Things Season 3. Welcome back, everyone. So if you just watched that last ad, it's for Carlisle, et cetera. We at, love them. Oh, my gosh. Love them, love them. Yes. I'm Hello. actually wearing one of their pieces. Yes. And if you can see, see the back of it, how pretty it is. Look at this right here. That's and it good. is amazing. I love this. Look at that accent. Right there in the center. Marbling. Let's see her. I know. My thing is covering <laughs> me. I um, love it because, like, I'm not a person. It's hard for me. I'm not an accessories person, right? I, I wear earrings and that's about Me and too. my wedding ring and that's about all I right. do. Right, yeah. but this is this makes it cool because then you have a little pop. Yes, without having exactly. to think about it, it jazzes it up. It's casual wear, but it's yeah. like chic. Yes. So Carlisle is actually sponsoring me for the Mrs. DC America pageant Yay. in April. So they provided me with an interview dress, which is to die for. Oh, so it is beautiful. Pretty. So you will see more of that. Yes. Um, but if you ever just want to go shopping and find. I say it's so difficult to find places that are unique. Yes. Mm -hmm. That quality. Quality. Exactly. Yeah. That you're not going to see yeah. everyone wearing yes. the same pieces. Yes. I mean, White House, and Black that you can Market, find everybody something shops for you. there. That's, Correct. That's hard. I think sometimes you can walk into a store and then you kind of immediately be like, well, the stuff here is cute, but it's not me. Yes. Um, or you walk in and it's like, it just looks all the same. Mm -hmm. Ladies, if you want to send your <laughs> husband somewhere to buy you an outfit... Go there. Send them to go see oh. Lara at Carlisle. And yes. they have stylists. They, they do have, have stylists. personal stylists yes. right there. They will spend, it's it's not an extra thing. It's just what they do. Yeah. So they will spend one-on-one -on -one time with you mm -hmm. while you're shopping and literally help you 
find exactly what is correct. They'll, they'll pull all of your sizes. Yes. They'll mm-hmm. continually keep bringing you things. Take notes of what you like, what you don't yep. like. I promise you it will be the best it's an shopping amazing experience. experience. It's an so amazing experience. fun. Yeah. And they're so sweet. They are. But they thank are. you, Lara. Thank, thank you. you, Lara. We, we love it out there. I'll be probably going out there real soon. So it still doesn't <laughs> like when I go out there too much. Uh, <laughs> you always find something to buy. Yeah. I always find something to buy without hesitation. Shay but. goes, I thought we were going for dresses. I was like, this is sort this of like a dress. dress. <laughs> I it wear it a lot. me and I like it. And I like it. And I look pretty. Don't you want me to feel pretty, honey? Happy wife, happy life. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Well, we want to Talk start about off. my favorite subject. Uh, it is her favorite <laughs> subject, but with a little bit of a spin. So it is March 4th, and we are about... 17 days I think away from the first day of spring is it the 20th or the 21st really? I think it's the 20th this Already? year I thought you were gonna say like 17 days away from St. Patrick's Day I no. didn't think oh you gosh. were gonna bring up spring, spring. <laughs> we are officially I think 16 days away from the first day of spring which I believe is either March 20th or 21st I've checked my calendar wow. and so even though it's probably it well it is it's still really chilly in the air um we just had a lovely nor'easter storm here in dc and up the coast yeah. uh, east coast i was but, loving it i have never gotten a two-hour delay from work because of wind <laughs> it was the best day ever i Minus- felt like it, there was like an alien attack thursday night because it was like <laughs> boom, boom. Yes. like i was like is everything okay how was monkey was he okay oh my gosh so the worst is is i go to take him Monkey's out in our the dog morning. if you guys don't know monkey is my dog he's not a monkey he's a dog <laughs> But that's a dog named Monkey. Correct. So I go to take him out in the morning. I open the door and I step outside and there is a shutter flying towards oh, us. We, that lost, had we lost off the building. one of our shutters. We lost one of our shutters this weekend. And um, you should have seen it here. I, I was like, I'll lay down on top of you. <laughs> you won't die. <laughs> you got to get him a thunder suit. What, what, the heck what is, is a thunder, a thunder suit? suit? We'll talk about that on okay. the next good things. Okay. <laughs> but it is spring, and it is time to maybe start looking at freshening up uh, the things that you do. And there's no better time than to start looking at things that's going to get you ready for summer, get you ready for the beach, and get that body Get that hot. fitness. Get spring that fitness clean in. your body. Spring clean your body. And there are new <laughs> ways to do this. Some might be a little out there, but... If you're like me, I get bored real easy with yes. the Guilty. same old stuff. Guilty. Yeah. Which will make me not want to do it at, at all. all, basically. Brett, you know you got to go to the gym to get bored with the gym, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. I already know I'm going to be bored. That's why I don't go. See? I love her, though. <laughs> I, I just have to give I just have to give her crap about it. Well, at least she's efficient. She is. She knows. She's, yeah. she's very efficient. And she does not let up. She's like, you want to go to the gym with me at 5 o'clock this morning? And I'm like, ah, uh, no. That is why I live 45 <laughs> miles away from this, too. Because I would she just would show up at Kenosha's house. I would and, just come knock on the door and be and like, I would come get downstairs. Up. And you I would. would. See, yeah. I would get up and go and be like a zombie in the gym. But we have some really cool uh, new fitness ideas that maybe you haven't thought of, maybe you haven't seen, that you might want to try out. Definitely haven't and, seen. And um, this very first one, I really want us to go to one. So I am really trying to track down Is this class. the one you tagged us on Facebook? I like, did. we should do this. We should do this and we'll probably come back with like, I don't want to hurt myself. So we won't do this until after April 14th. (laughs) There we go. There we go. But this first workout, it's called the bungee workout. So I don't know if you've seen this before or not, but it's a workout using bungee cords where you have the opportunity to basically strengthen your entire body, including your core, using a bungee cord, as you can see right here. Um, And it's kind of like a Tabata workout. If you guys, anybody's um, kind of familiar with that. That one looks fun. The bungee flight. The bungee flight. Oh, that looks yes, cool. yes. And so I'm sure no, it takes not, some not that one. coordination. Um, I wonder how many bumped heads they might have. I wonder how many people fart midair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like, <laughs> Probably a lot. Well, I mean, it's pushing right in yeah. that area. Yeah, and you're this is true. Jumping and and doing everything. Yeah. Well, this style, it's definitely <laughs> a calorie torture. You say you can torch up to 400 calories in oh one class. Gosh. And uh, I'm all about that. And that's only 45 minutes long. And so um, this just might be something that you might want to give a try. So, yeah. Hey, bungee workout. Bungee workout. Yeah, bungee yeah, workout. Yeah, yeah. I know Britt's going to bring us something good. What you got? Jumping and frogging. Ooh. Leapfrogging? Uh, uh, maybe. That sounds like an illegal activity. <laughs> we'll see. I, I so, got arrested for frogging last night. What is frogging? I don't, I don't know. Don't even get her started. <laughs> Let's stay on tap. 
<laughs> so frogging slash jumping, it's a dynamic fitness training system, and it's designed, or it was developed with these Profi trampolines. Oh, oh I do love trampolines. So, like, the, the kid in you is going to love yeah. this. Actually, this is a workout that I don't think I would be bored with. Look at them go. I want to do I that. I think I could do that. Brett, I think you'd get hurt. Probably. <laughs> I'd have to work on coordination before I gave her a try, but it looks so So fun. I just have to tell you, my dear, dear mother, and I know she's watching us, so hi, Mom. Hi, hi Mom. Uh, she actually went and bought a trampoline because hi. she was like, I heard it burns X amount of calories. And she jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped, and then she like couldn't move the next day because her ribs hurt so bad from jumping. Yes. It is, um, so I think she's Have you gone to Sky Zone? Yes. Oh, yeah. It's For a like workout. An hour. <laughs> it hurts parts of I don't your know body that you don't even sore. know. You're mm -mm. like, why is my throat sore? No. It's a lot. <laughs> So with this, there's a combination of like slow jumps, yeah. fast jumps, different like traditional Look aerobic that, steps, man. dynamic spins, a lot of power sport elements. Like oh, I thought of, the instructor was tired. She had just like she's stopped. Not it, tired. it looks like they're just bouncing <laughs> up and down, but it's pretty complex when you yeah. think about like you guys said all the different muscle yeah. groups yeah. that you get. It's to a work. lot of core work, a lot, and wow. you got to keep Full yourself on body. that thing. So bounce, 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 yeah. bounce, 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 it, bounce. It. Well, this next one is probably next? right up your alley, right? <laughs> you know me. I love yoga. Love, love yoga because without yoga, I'm a very mean person. So the next one we're looking Jeez, at is anti-gravity nice. yoga. I want to try this. Yeah. So Definitely. it utilizes a couple of different things. Traditional yoga poses. It has nice. a little bit of Pilates, Ooh. a little bit of dance. And you use, with the use of a hammock... It allows you to perform things that you may not have been able to do otherwise Scratch just it. being on the ground. Yeah. yeah, that's that's intense. Look at that. <laughs> he is I feel a like, he, not a she. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I would break something. <laughs> um, so it's kind of like acrobatics all in one. And, you yeah. know, a lot of people have found it's not only mentally mm -hmm. allows you to let go because yeah. you have to let go of that fear in order right. to actually swing right. like Tarzan, like yeah. he's doing right now. I mean, it's kind of like a swing. It's a little Aww. scary, though. You think it's yeah. you think it's I think the trampoline's scarier. Well, like this, hemp that. Oh like yeah, he's, been, he's doing some tricks. That's a little advanced. I mean, he. That's what if you accidentally let go of the silk and then you bump your head. <laughs> we would hope that that would not happen. So in Brit's class, she would have a mattress <laughs> underneath hers. <laughs> yes, because what if like the yes. you know, the, the it's ceiling only things like a aren't foot sturdy? Off the ground. It's like two feet. And then you just okay. bust your whole ass. You're okay. Yeah, you you might, but. I think you'll be okay. Okay. It'll be okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. So Y'all see, I will come up with any excuse. Not, not to, to go to the We will drag her there. She'll come with padding all over her and a helmet, but it's okay. I should probably start to wear padding because I keep, I fell at the gym the other day and it was so bad. No one saw me, which was the greatest because I was like. All the cameras saw she's you. She's always like falling. Mm. She's always like I bruised my up, whole bruised back. Up. Oh yeah, it's not good. What are you going to do with her, Jay? <laughs> Well, the next one we have is not necessarily new, but it is becoming very, very popular. And it is basically called the Rhythmic Workout. And there is a name for it that is actually a trademark called the Pound, Pound. Workout. Pound. So many of you guys have probably heard about this. I think Can that I shout out really quick, yeah. Amanda Samuel. Sweet, sweet, sweet lady. She's a pound instructor. I think she's injured now. Hi, Amanda. Hope you feel Hi, better. Amanda. But she's a pound instructor. Well, you know what? We should have her. Amanda, when you get better, you should come on yes. and, uh, and and give and us pound a pound for us. Yeah, you give know us what she pound. does? So after every um, workout, she posts she posts pictures, and her sticks are always broken. So she'd be pounding the... F okay, yeah. 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 She's, yeah. she's, she's pounding, pounding a lot. pounding some stuff. A lot. A lot. Mm. But she's like broke another set of pound sticks. But it is, it is, it's like another one of those it's workouts. It's a stress where release. It's a it release. is a stress where it, and it, it is a tire body workout. Um, you wouldn't think so because you think, oh, I'm only moving my arms or my hands, but you are going up and down and you are moving through the space and it is a pretty intense workout. But yeah. it can also be, um, you know, low intensity yeah. because there's a lot of ways to kind of change it so that, you you know, it, it the impact is appropriate it for you. For you, yeah. Do yeah. you remember um, seeing that pound workout on This Is Us? Yes, yes. Yeah. And she, it was like very. Emotional. And I loved it. I was like, oh, I want to do What episode was that? It was when Kate was at the um, fat camp. Oh, remember? Yeah, 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 the pound. Ah! Yeah, yeah. That sounds and about just, like what I would do. Yeah. That would be me. Like, well, all my emotions just just out in the. Sticks. But that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, let's. We have one last one that we're going to tell you about. And I thought we uh, had two. Well, I think we're going to do the second one, the last one, maybe a little bit later. Okay, but perfect. We'll, we'll try Because I'm excited first. about the last one. Yes, yes, yes. And we'll, we're going to put that in our wind down part. Water extreme. Yes. 
Weave, be still. <laughs> this is why she has this one. <laughs> so a lot of times with like aquatics and water sports, like it just is what it is. Like you Ooh. swim, you do water aerobics. There right. hasn't been a whole lot of innovation. You know, your laps or like I said, your water works. But now we have water extreme. Rob Glick of Lifetime Fitness and then Speedo actually developed this um, workout program. Yeah. This newly designed yeah. Speedo Aquatic. So it's a little bit more than just your normal aqua aerobics. Mm -hmm. It's like a lot. Yeah. It's yeah. something that I don't want to do. They're like, you're like pushing these pads that can weigh up to 75 pounds like through the water. Well, and you Yeah, but it's the best. You burn the most amount of calories yes, in the water. You and you kind of really don't feel it. And well, here's the thing. It's great on your joints. Right. Yeah. So whereas when you're lifting, you know, if you lift incorrectly, you could potentially hurt. The one thing you never want to hurt people is your knees. Yes. So if you're running and you're ruining your knees. And your spine. There's your spine. one thing that yeah. Jesus can fix <laughs> is not your knees, <laughs> even though he loves you. Jesus can fix everything. Except, Except your knees. Except your knees. <laughs> According it, to Knee Leia. injuries are, are hard. I, I do feel like when you do That's get an true. injury there, yep. it's it's never the same. I had no. a knee injury, and it's even though you're fixed, it's, it's not 100%. I mean, know? it is a joke, but Jesus can fix everything. <laughs> However... It's a joke, but it really, he can't fix it. So on yeah. that bar, are you doing like push-ups and put, like you're doing? Yes. 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 All but right in now. the water. So you've got a Look lot. How intent, like she is. She's getting it. That could be you, Britt. Those muscles. I know. I mean, it could. Also, I could be eating some cookies. <laughs> donuts this we're gonna do yes. a new spin we're doing a new spin well you know what we have just a little bit of time before we need to go to break so i am going to why don't you give us it's kind of a different side so we've talked about fitness yep but but this is my and i think i'm glad you put this in there because i'm really this is my focus for yes. the year because i'm always really good about the workouts but ways to recover you and resting recover. Oh, absolutely. if your body is not fully resting you will never ever ever reach your fitness goals this is true so people who are going to the gym six days a week and they're not seeing results well nine times out of ten it's because you are not You're putting not the rest in that's true so Brian a couple of the ways because <laughs> he's yes. talking to me about this he's going to be interested in this yes so a couple of the ways first one infrared saunas these are a big deal anytime you can yes. heat your body temperature up you're going to get a lot of benefits. Yep. Um, the one thing too, if you're ever prepping for a photo shoot or, you know, you just want to lose a little bit of that excess water weight. If you're like me and you drink a liter or, you know, a gallon of water a day, you're going to have a little bit of water weight. Correct. Go in the sauna every day leading up to whatever yeah. you're going to do. Yeah. And you're going to see a lot of that water weight. And the picture that we just off. saw was actually for the next thing, which is actually kind yes. of a little bit of a new thing. Yes. Yeah. This is a new thing. Um, so it's not, it's called cryotherapy, which mm -hmm. works by surrounding the body with a super cold mist. Yes. So it's negative 150 degrees Holy Celsius wow. and it's for one to three minutes, but it's going to decrease your cell, cell growth, inflammation and pain and yes. increasing cell survival. So, you know, try these things. There's also the floating tanks that you can yes. do. These oh are gosh, great to ways to relax. Yes. Um, but my final one is a new one. Mm -hmm. And it basically talks on the line of intermittent fasting. Mm -hmm. And so what a lot of people don't understand is, is that in order for your body to repair and rest, which are the two most important things for it your is. fitness levels, it can't be processing food. Right. So While you're a lot supposed of, to be sleeping. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So uh, my husband and I have just started doing this. We typically try not to eat past 2 or 3 o'clock. Mm -hmm. But the great thing is, is from 7.30 to 2 or 3 o'clock, we eat as much as we possibly they can. They eat everything. Yeah. Yes, we eat everything. <laughs> so there's, like, there's lots of ways to basically not only tailor what is – what is good for you but absolutely also different ways to kind of mix it up because your body kind of sometimes thrives on that it doesn't mean that if at now i recommend not eating past six ever mm -hmm. but if at 5 30 you're starving to death have some Eat soup something. exactly have some salad something, but that something metabolizes. that's very yeah. light something right. that's easy to metabolize nothing processed right. And then have a cup of tea and be done. And be done with it. Mm -hmm. And I think that your body will get accustomed to that, you know, when you do it. And so initially it might seem kind of harsh or hard, but eventually, you know, well, you get you, used to it. You will never have slept as good until you learn how to sleep on an empty that. stomach. I do believe Because that. you do not go into your full melatonin cycle right. if your body is processing food. Oh, so wow. makes sense. Makes sense. Food for know. thought. Food for thought. Well, we'll be right back with uh, more good things in just a minute. And uh, we have so much more to share with you. And coming up, we are going to take a little trip over to Glen Burnie, Maryland. And we're going to visit with Chanel Jefferson and Faith the Faith Girl Beauty. 
beauty uh, team, the entire team there. So we can't wait to show that to you, but we'll be back in just a second. Welcome back to Good Things. And as promised, we took a little trip over to Glen Burnie, mm -hmm. Maryland. And I didn't even know where that was. <laughs> <laughs> it's, and if you don't know where it is, it's actually right outside of Baltimore, um, not too far from BWI Airport. And uh, we went right to go see. Highway. Right off the highway. Yes. Really easy to get to. Very easy. Um, but the Faith Girl Beauty Studio, which is owned and founded by mm -hmm. Chanel Jefferson, who is an amazing and talented makeup artist right here in the DMV, and, and so much more really um has this amazing place and we just couldn't wait to share it with you so uh let's not wait anymore check Take it out look. <laughs> hey everyone welcome back to good things and welcome back to our season three premiere we're so glad to have you with us but as promised we are bringing you live from faith girl beauty studio right here in Glen Burnie, Maryland, right outside of Baltimore. We're not too far from BWI. You can get here right off 95, 100 East. You'll be right here in like 10 minutes. Um, but we are here with the owner and founder, Chanel Jefferson. And we are so excited that we are being blessed today for her to share her beautiful studio. We're gonna meet all of the stylists and all of the um, uh, artists a little bit later on, mm -hmm. but uh, Hi. <laughs> <laughs> We're really excited to be here. Oh my right? gosh, so excited. Yes. And I got here a little early today, always. so I'm so always early. Yeah. Um, Sometimes. The life of the party. Life of the party. <laughs> <laughs> you all already know that, but, but it is we feel really... bad we left you guys here with her for so long. I mean, it was, it was such and go. <laughs> it was such and go for a little bit. But let me tell you a little bit about, so all three of us have met Chanel before, mm -hmm. um, and one of the things that I think we all talked about with you is that your spirit is amazing and we just love always being like just around you and so I think that's something that's super important especially when you're doing something as close and intimate as makeup and hair and someone who's just leaving that in your hands and so um, don't worry about that if you come here all you have to do is sit down in the chair you'll be well taken care of you don't have to worry about that it's mm -hmm. funny though that you talk about that because a lot of people don't think of with makeup Whenever you're getting your makeup done, it's for a special event and usually right. a stressful one, whether mm -hmm. it's a wedding, whether it's a work gala, whether it's a pageant, whether it's a photo shoot, you always have that stress. And if you can really find that makeup artist who not only gets your face yes. and can make you feel the best version of yourself, but also someone who calms you down. Yes. Then you get the best of both. And tells you it's going to be okay. Yes. yes. <laughs> and she knows how to do that. But I want you to tell me, tell us about Faith Girl Studios, uh, Faith Girl Beauty Studio, and how it all started. Well, Faith Girl Beauty Studio is, uh, it started pretty much in my heart because I love, I'm a makeup artist. Yes. I've been a makeup artist for years now, and um, I love what I do. And uh, the love of what I do caused me to just kind of add to my services. So mm -hmm. um, I looked into doing eyelash extensions and microblading. Mm -hmm. And I fell in love with microblading. <laughs> As and know. Because I love brows. Like, brows <laughs> is my thing. So eyelash extensions without microblading was in. Yeah. So with that, I decided to branch out and get a, uh, a beauty suite. Okay. And from the beauty suite, it was nice. It was intimate. But... I felt alone, oh and, I, <laughs> and it was so small. I'm like, I'm in this you know, small room. I'm like, that's the thing like, about energy. Yeah, like when you yeah. have that kind of energy, you need other yeah. energy to keep you. Yeah, and going. and I was just 
surrounded with hairstylists. Mm-hmm. So it was just myself that was doing makeup. And right. this, um, I was actually in a, a Phoenix salon suite. So it was, you know, multiple suites. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm just like, I need to connect with my other, you yes, know, makeup yes. artists, my other micro artists. <laughs> and, um, and so I figured, you know, and then also I was, you know, in, I was right. closed in. So I'm like, oh, I envisioned, you know, a storefront. I wanted people to know about what I do. Mm-hmm. So just um, from a marketing standpoint, I figured, you know, yeah. I need to be seen. I need to be somewhere where, mm-hmm. you know, people can know yeah. about my service. And it's important. It's important. Mm-hmm. Um, and actually, just so you guys know, she's located at 12 Gl- Crane mm-hmm. Crane Avenue or Crane, Crane Highway, Highway North. North. Not <laughs> south. Not south. Yes. Because you'll well, get lost. Yes, we did for like one second. But luckily, it's like a block difference, so you're okay. But 12 Crane Highway North, Glen Burnie, Maryland. And, um, it's so easy to find. It is. Tell us about So what are your hours here? You're here? Yeah, Monday through Saturday, okay. 10 to 8 p.m. Okay. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then uh, Saturdays, 8 a.m. to 5. And okay. Sundays, we are closed. Okay. And people can make appointments via um, online as well mm-hmm. as, because you do have your website, which is mm-hmm. Faith. FaithGirlBeauty.com. FaithGirlBeauty.com. Yes. And so, and, yeah, as you know, we're housed with beauty professionals. Correct. Uh, we, so we're housed with other makeup artists, microblading artists, hairstylists, eyelash extension mm-hmm. uh, artists. Everybody. <laughs> Everybody. Everything. Everything. So, um, and they're actually on the site. So when you click on the site and you, you know, browse through the, the beauty professionals, you'll be able to click on their link as okay. well to book a And it's a beautiful website. I don't know if you guys are like me. I'm such a visual person. Mm-hmm. And anytime I go to something and I'm just like, oh, look, I could just stay there and search it forever just because it's so aesthetically pleasing. Um, and as you can see, I don't know, you you know, behind us, it's a beautiful studio. It's yes. We haven't even gotten to the rim. No, and we're going to show you guys all of that as we go. Um, what is your favorite part about just beauty? Because I think, I mean, it radiates from you, but I know it's your passion and your love. Um, what is your favorite? Just, just what, what do you love so much about about doing mm-hmm. this for other people? The reaction from my client yeah. when their makeup is done and their reaction is priceless. Like just saying, this is me, I love <laughs> it, like oh my gosh. I live for that and you know, I believe confidence and just self love is so important. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, you know, I feel like makeup is an accessory. Yeah. You know, right. it's not something that, you know, you need to feel beautiful, it's an accessory. Right. So mm-hmm. I like to use it as an accessory to, you know, just pull out that confidence and, and women in my clients. Yeah. 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 So a follow up question to that. Mm-hmm. If you had a younger woman who had aspirations of having her own storefront Mm -hmm. and, you know, really didn't know what the next steps were to get there, I mean, what advice would you give to her? Uh, Do not fear. You know, it starts with just researching. Mm -hmm. Um, Sometimes we think something is impossible and it really is possible. It's just a matter of, you know, getting the fear and the doubt out of your mind Mm -hmm. and say, oh, I could never. Well, why could you never? Right. You know, so research. Uh, you know, look into it and you'll find that, hey, this is obtainable and just get you a a list going and before you know it, you know, you're you're there. Yeah, the list is done and you're here. (laughs) So I I love that you talked about fear and obviously the the name of this um, studio is is Faith Girl Beauty. So faith and fear, very much Mm -hmm. interchangeable. Mm -hmm. So can you talk to us a little bit about like where the name came from? Yeah. I'm interested to hear that. (laughs) Well, okay. So Faith Girl is, is me. Yes. Um, it's it's been my life. It's my testament or my testimony of who I am. Um, everything that I I do and, and how I've gotten here has been by faith. Um, and just even the, the faith in in me and what God has given me and my talents to to go forward and do what I love to do and have the confidence to do it. Um, so Faith Girl is, is just my my me saying this is who I am. This is, yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, 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 it's my life. And I, you know, and honestly, when you, whether you're stepping in here in the studio, whether you're with Chanel One on One, you feel empowered, and you don't feel empowered just because of what what, what you're you doing, like. what you look like, you know. Mm-hmm. And it's a wonderful thing, as you said, you know, it's an accessory, but you really do feel like, you know what. I can go out here, I can do this, I yes. can take on whatever it is I need to take on yeah, right. and um, and feel yourself 
which I think is, is a huge thing, yeah. um, whether it be in beauty or just in life. But yeah. feeling yeah. yourself, I, yes. I hear a lot of people say, I'm afraid to see a makeup artist or mm -hmm. I'm afraid to put things mm -hmm. into someone else's hands, mm -hmm. especially if I don't know them, because how right. did I know that they know me? Right. And I do think that um, that is a, a valid yeah. fear, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, you yeah, will. Yeah, of course. Um, but I also think that when you have someone like yourself mm -hmm. who's able to say, you know mm -hmm. what, let's break that down mm -hmm. and tell me a little bit about you. And guys, mm -hmm. this, that's what you're going to get. Um, mm -hmm. Chanel doesn't make any shortcuts in making sure she gets to know you, yes. whether she's known you for like two minutes, five <laughs> minutes, or you know, she's known you for five years. You know, mm -hmm. she's gonna get to know you and what it is really mm -hmm. at your at your heart. And I'm yeah. sure that's a huge mm -hmm. part of it is. You know. it's, it's really my ministry. Yeah, it is. It's it's not just you know I'm I'm doing your makeup. You know sometimes you know we uh, women when you when you're sitting in that chair mm -hmm. you know and me as a makeup artist I become the sister friend. <laughs> I become the BFF. I become a counselor. You know sometimes let me tell you what just happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know and and I care enough to listen and and you know through listening and through you know beautifying and bringing out the situating the beauty on uh, my client I am also you know working on the heart yes. and saying you know mm -hmm. what hold your head up girl you're gonna be it's fine right. yeah. you know girl you're strong you could do it mm -hmm. you know and and that's the thing it's all about positive words Absolutely. and and I, I love to you know give that and, that and you and everybody needs that and sometimes you yeah. need that from outside of yeah, just your right. regular circle yes but yeah it's helpful Absolutely. well we'll be right back we have so much more to share with Faith Girl Beauty Studio right here in Glen Burnie, Maryland. And uh, we're gonna talk more with Chanel. We're going to uh, take a look at the studio. We're also going to meet some of the amazing stylists and artists that are right here. And we're gonna learn a little bit about all of the different services that you can get right here at Faith Girl. So stay tuned, we'll be right back in about two. <laughs> hey, hey. Is that which is really kind of cool is um, if there are any of you 
especially you young and thriving artists out there um, that are interested in in, in in makeup, in artistry. Because I was going to say, in learning from the best. Did that too. <laughs> <laughs> because there, uh, there's a lot of question, a lot of times in this field, I know, mm -hmm. I, at least, you know, I know I hear a lot of people say, well, I love doing this, but how do I get involved, right? Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, this lady right here is also all about giving back, hence the name Faith Girl to begin with. Mm -hmm. um, but if you are interested, you know, Chanel also brings in um, under her interns for, for makeup artists. And, you know, if you just kind of want to see what's going on and maybe learn the ropes and, you know, get your feet a little bit wet um, or just talk to her, um, you know, she's willing to, to do that. And Chanel, do they just kind of reach out to you and contact you? What's the best way for them to get in touch with you? Uh, yes, they could uh, visit the website or email uh, info mm -hmm. at faithgirlbeauty.com. And info at faithgirlbeauty.com. You can see it right yeah. there. <laughs> info at faithgirlbeauty.com. So, um, so reach out. So if you're interested, you know, if you've got that passion, you know, as we said and as Chanel said in the first segment, you know, don't let your fear uh, keep you from living that passion and um, wanting to set those goals. Because follow your dreams, girl. Follow your dreams. <laughs> Have faith. And boys. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the best makeup artists are guys that I know. <laughs> this is true. This is true. So I am going to actually, or we are going to actually turn this over, and uh, we want to meet some of the fierce and fabulous ladies of Faith Girl. And uh, I think there's no better person to introduce us to them than uh, Chanel yeah. herself. So who do we have here? Oh, well, we'll start with Tanisha. <laughs> uh, Tanisha, would you want to just, you know, explain what you do? And she's a Amazing, but I'll let her tell you. you <laughs> I was gonna say, if you can't see her lashes, I know. <laughs> scrolling, I'm saying, scrolling. Scrolling. Amazing. Right, right. Um, I'm Tanisha Latrice, known to the visual as Tanisha Latrice. I'm gonna go by my first and middle name. I am a makeup and lash artist. I specialize in bridal and beauty. So, this that's just what I love. Um, it's just something about just getting that bride down the aisle and just knowing she's just walking into her future and she's going to be meeting her future oh, husband amazing. and he's just looking at her like wow this is my wife so wow. like I was a part of that moment you know <laughs> <laughs> what's your biggest mistake that you see when it comes to lashes Ooh. Ooh. oh that's a good one well, are we talking about strip lashes or are we talking about lash extensions? Let's go with lash extensions because I feel like you are strip lashes. The biggest thing, like with lash extensions, you definitely have to be sure you isolate because if you're not isolating, you could damage the natural lash. Gotcha. So how often, if you are getting extensions, how often should they be falling out? What What's an abnormal amount if you're brushing out your lashes every day with extensions that you should be seeing a lash come out with your extension? The normal shed is two to three a day. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So okay, if it's more than that, then you got to look at some other things that may be, that might be happening yeah, and causing it to shed a little bit more okay. than it should be. Can we talk about this ring on your finger? Can you guys see <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah, fabulous. laughs> <laughs> Delta, baby. <laughs> girl, yes, and I love elephants, yeah. hence the red nails as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so my mother gave this to me about three Christmases ago. That's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. so it's one of my favorites. See, you get everything when you come here. You don't only get to be beautiful, but you also get education. And I think mm -hmm. that's a huge part of not only going someplace to get your makeup done or your hair done mm -hmm. or any other uh, right. beauty or styling service, but that you also leave with some don't do's, maybe do's, and how to's. And so, and that's really important at the end of the day because then you become equipped right. in some sort of way. And if yeah. someone can't answer a simple question as to why they're doing something a certain way, that should be a <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, ding, don't do that. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so who do we have next? Naomi. Okay. So uh, then Naomi is actually the salon manager, um, and she also does eyelash extensions, but I'll let her explain. <laughs> Hello everyone, my name is Naomi Willis. Um, as Chanel just said, I do lash extensions here. That is my main uh, source that I have. And of course, help Chanel run the salon as her backup and as her right hand man. <laughs> woman. Mm -hmm. A woman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, who else do we have? Okay, and we also have 
is Siobhan, and Siobhan is one of our hairstylists here. Hello everyone, my name is Siobhan, owner of Siobhan The Brand. I provide hair extensions for my customers. I also specialize in wigs and maintaining healthy, beautiful hair for all my ladies. Absolutely. I have a question. <laughs> I knew you couldn't say hair and not get a question from me, right? I'm all about hair. So, you know, Leah kind of asked about with the lashes with Tanisha, you know, what's a, a big don't? Um, what would you say is like the biggest like red flag that you see in terms of how people either care for their extensions or just what piece of advice would you want to give? Clean, cleanliness. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of times, a lot of things, of, you have a lot of buildup on your scalp. Yes. I encourage my clients uh, during the times that they don't see me to make sure you keep your hair shampoo, even with your extensions, keep Take care of it as if it is your own hair. Right. If you don't take care of it, it's not going to last. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you come and say this, the extent they they didn't last a long time. Did you wash? Did you do? Did you take the follow? Did you follow the steps that I gave? You? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you know. And I have a follow up question. So um, a lot of people who want to have different things done to their hair, whether it be extensions mm -hmm. or just um, other styling things, braids, whatever. Um, but yet maybe they have uh, some scalp issues and um, shout out to So Derma Dermatology, mm -hmm. uh, one of our uh, sponsors. But we see in um, at the practice a lot of times mm -hmm. um, issues with that. And mm -hmm. the, the problem usually is that there is an issue with some other scalp or mm -hmm. follicle issue. And but the issue has caused maybe some shedding or complete loss of hair and so then of course they're wanting to cover it up mm -hmm. with a wig or with extensions which sometimes causes additional mm -hmm. issues um what is your recommendation like when if for someone who is at that at that position where they're trying to treat an issue but yet yes they can't go out you know maybe they can't go to work maybe mm -hmm. they have a high profile job you know they can't necessarily just go out with clumps of hair missing out of their head mm -hmm. so they need to do something but yet they want to do it healthy you mm -hmm. know um do you have a recommendation for like as far as you know it, is it just best to come see a professional and then talk with them about it is there some no-nos mm -hmm. uh, uh, you definitely should speak a professional i i do consultations mm -hmm. before i start before i start my service with any of my clients i do a, a hair and scalp analysis Very if it's something that's awesome. beyond my control i would highly recommend that they see a dermatologist mm -hmm. but other than that if, if there's something that i can do to help i'll mm -hmm. i'll give them a few pointers uh to you know home remedies to take care of uh, at home themselves mm -hmm. also i find out uh what are their allergies if they're allergic to any of the products because certain products can also lead to that's very build true. up in uh dandruff yeah you know, probably certain dandruff. materials too yeah. i know people go out and maybe they just grab a wig from like a random mm -hmm. store and they don't realize it's causing irritation mm -hmm. because of maybe what's sewn into the wig mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's so great that you ask about allergies i'm trying to think back i don't think i've ever been in a hair salon where they've asked do you have any allergies mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, each, each yeah, person has a profile yeah. that I have set up to find out more about them, That's wonderful. how they take care of their hair outside of the salon, so that I'll know what to do, so that uh, there's you know, and anything involved in my products and ingredients isn't harming harming their hair. So. That's amazing, and see, and that's the kind of treatment and. That's 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 what you want, you know, and I think it's what people expect. But a lot of times, if it's not offered um, or, or mentioned, mm -hmm. they don't necessarily bring bring it up. Yeah, well, absolutely. people are very loyal, I think, to their stylist mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. you know people who put them together. But when the work starts to maybe diminish, mm -hmm. they don't say anything because they're like, "Well, I've been going to this person for twelve years. They used to be awesome." But what happened to your hair? You have no yeah. now. Yeah. 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 That's important to know. All right, and we have one, well, sort of last person. I won't say last, but we have, who do we have on the end here? So Beautiful Tanika. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. So my name is Tanika Cornish. Um, I, my, uh, my beauty brand is Tanika Cornish Beauty, and I offer makeup, lashes, and also microblading. So if you haven't noticed, one thing I want to point out is that this is Faith Girl, but because you have such a strong, independent, entrepreneurial woman at the head of Faith Girl, who
who believes in not only building up her own brand, but also building up the brands of everyone else around her. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Everyone here is their mm -hmm. own brand that yeah. makes Faith Girl what it is. That's awesome. And that's in itself right there is just an amazing thing because it just shows how much faith <laughs> you have in not only your own business, you know, because a lot of people could be, you know, afraid of doing that mm -hmm. because right. they think it's going to be something that's going to impede their own business. Mm -hmm. um, right. You know, but you know, that's that's what that's what you believe in. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I, I believe in building each other up. No competition. Yeah. Yeah. We at Good Things think that's a good thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we think it's a really good thing. That's always a good thing. So, really quick, I want Chanel to remind us all. So. Give us again your hours and uh, the days that you're open okay. on the website. Yeah, of the course. email address. Oh, <laughs> don't let them walk away. Not yes, yes, yes. We want you to know where you can find us. So, um, our business hours are Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 8 o'clock p.m. And Sundays uh, we are closed. Saturdays we are open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And you can find us on the web www.faithgirlbeauty.com. You can also find us on uh, Facebook, Faith Girl Beauty Studio, and on Instagram, Faith Girl Beauty Studio. Please follow us to stay in the know. <laughs> yes. we're, we're always posting. There's a whole lot to like. Yes, <laughs> and you'll see everyone's work. Uh, oh, so. One question. Do you guys go outside the studio to do any on-site makeup, all of that, or is it yes. just inside? Yeah, so um, as uh, Tanisha mentioned, she specializes in bridal beauty. Tanika uh, and myself as well, we uh, specialize in um, bridal beauty. So if we do get uh, weddings, we, we do go out. You know, if we definitely have a home base, but yes. some of our work requires us to travel. So Hot night out yeah. on the town. <laughs> <laughs> right. We also do photo shoots and... And so, yeah, we, we do, we are mobile. They do it awesome. all. They yeah. literally do mm -hmm. it all. I and think that's a common all. misconception for people, though. Sometimes mm -hmm. they think they have to come in and then there is that option. Yeah. To, or that they have no other options. Right. Yeah. yeah. And that sometimes, depending on probably either location or not sometimes location, but a lot of times just kind of the schedule of things. And right. maybe they can't get from one place to the next place to where they have to be. And it's what? Really in the DMV? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? You can't get anywhere in 20 minutes? No, I'll be there in an hour and a half. Right. Exactly. <laughs> Maybe. <Yeah. laughs> well, we are so thrilled to have spent all of this time with, with all of you. Thank you so much for inviting us. Thank you for having us. Um, we can't wait, and we've seen the amazing and fabulous work of Faith Girl, um, and it's time for you all to see it too. If you have not seen it, please check it out, mm -hmm. and do not hesitate. Please reach out to Chanel and all the ladies here at Faith Girl Studio because um, you won't regret it, and it's no. definitely the place to be. Um, you know, I, I just can't imagine feeling more at home, oh, absolutely. comfortable, mm -hmm. confident, um, and I always feel that way. Um, yes, I've known this lady for <laughs> a few years, but I've never met these ladies here, and I feel that way about them, and yeah. I just met them, and so you will feel the same way too. Um, you will live in that room back there. <laughs> <laughs> the last one on the right. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys saw how beautiful everything is here. You've been seeing it throughout the segment. It really is a dollhouse, and mm -hmm. uh, we appreciate so much, and we thank you guys for being a part thank of Good you. Things. Yes, thank you thank for having us. <laughs> and always know, please, you all are welcome. We will come in and and show whatever you guys want us to show because we believe that sharing other good things mm -hmm. is exactly what we are here to do, and this is definitely lifting other good. women up. Definitely, it's, a good thing. it's definitely a good thing. Mm -hmm. We'll be right back with more good things right after the break. Hey everyone, and we hope you enjoy that segment with Chanel Jefferson and the entire team at Faith Girl Beauty Studio in in Glen Burnie, Maryland. And we had a really great time there. We had it so was much so fun. fun. Yes, they were so informative. Um, please get out there and see them. Look up on the website there, faithgirlbeauty.com, and uh, they've got some amazing services. And while you're looking them up, don't forget to go to goodthingsdc.com as it is uh, relaunched. It's yeah, relaunched oh, today. Oh, and it's so beautiful. Beautiful. Subscribe 
and uh, check it all out and get on our uh, newsletter board and so that we can send you guys all of the information and updates about good things and what's going on and what is to come. And you can also contact us on the website. You can. Yep. You can. And if you're interested in having us feature something here on Good Things DC, we can uh, we can oblige. Just contact us and let us know about that and we would be happy to talk with you further and uh, see what's all out there because that is what Good Things is all about. Yeah. Yeah sharing good things yeah well it's been a great week thank you for joining us thank you for being part of our season three premiere we are very excited to be back and we'll be right back here next week yes on the 11 11 a.m at 11 a.m so 3 11 at 11 a.m and next week we're gonna have a lot of fun because uh i think we're gonna do uh a good things post oscar edition we're gonna bring back your favorite speaking of oscars don't forget to check it out tonight because if you are yes gonna check it out tonight then you'll be very well prepared for our show next sunday yes Yes. and we're gonna get a little fancy so uh maybe you want to get a little fancy with us as well so but for now it's been a great show it's been a great week we want you to have an amazing week and uh please remember to love one another always be kind and do good things see you later Bye. bye